Hello and welcome to this video on cumulative frequency graphs. Now what cumulative frequency graphs allows us to do is to show visually the running total of the frequency as the value goes up. So specifically the word cumulative means the running total. Now it's easiest if we just dive straight into this question. We've got a grouped frequency table here. We've got different time ranges so we can see that three people had a time between 0 and 5 seconds, seven people had a time between 5 and 10 seconds, etc. And we want to answer these questions. So we want to draw a cumulative frequency table first and I'll show you what that means. If I do this table, we got time and we still got in seconds. But instead of frequency, we've actually got cumulative frequency. So that's going to be the running total of the frequency up to that particular row. So firstly, we again got a range of 0 to 5. That's just going to be the same as before. And the running total of the frequency by the end of this interval is just 3, because that's the first interval that we've seen. But this is where it gets a tiny bit more complicated. Now, in the second row, we want the running total of the frequency up until that last value there of 10. So instead of 5 to 10, we want the running total all the way up to 10, i.e. all the way from the start, the start value of 0 seconds, up until the 10 seconds. And what is the running total of the frequency? Well, it's 10. Between 0 and 10 seconds, i.e. all the way from the very start up until the end of that interval, we've seen 10 people in total. What about the next one? We want the running total all the way up to a time of 15 at the end of the interval. So it's between 0 and 15, because 0 was the starting value. What's the running total? 3 plus 7 plus 10 is 20. So we've seen 20 people by the end of this interval. And then the next one, it's between 0, the starting value, and 20. Now we've seen 20 people up until here, and then we've got an additional 8 people, so we've seen 28. And then an entire whack, 0 up to 25 seconds, I almost wrote 30 there. Um, we've seen everyone between 0 and 25 seconds, so we've got that extra 2 people, 28 plus 2 is 30. So these cumulative frequencies just represent the running total of these frequencies up until the end of that particular interval. So we've done A, and now we want to do part B, which is to draw a cumulative frequency graph. So we're going to do the time on the x-axis, so we need to go up to 25. And instead of frequency on the y-axis, like we would have with a frequency diagram, we're going to have cumulative frequency. And we can see from our cumulative frequency table, we need to go all the way up to 30, because that's the running total of people by the end. And now we have to plot these values. In a frequency polygon, we always use the midpoint of each of these ranges and plot it with the frequency. But this time, we're going to use the endpoint and plot it with the cumulative frequency. And the reason we use the endpoint is because we're saying that there's three people with a time of up to five seconds. And here in the second row, we've, we know there's 10 people of a time of up to seconds. In this row, we've got 20 people of a time of up to 15 seconds. Now, it doesn't make any sense to use the midpoint of 7.5 because we can't say that 10 people have a time of up to 7.5 seconds because some of those people in this row might have had times above 7.5, between 7.5 and 10 seconds. But we know by the time we get to the end of this interval, by the time we get to 10 seconds, we would have seen 10 people. And we know that 10 people have a time of up to 10 seconds. That's why we use the end of the interval. So let's just use this. We use the end value 5 with a cumulative frequency of 3. 5, 3. Um, 10 with a cumulative frequency of 10. So it's here. We have 15, 20. So 15, 20 is here. We have 20, 28. So 20, 28. So we're getting towards the top now. And finally, 25.30, so 25.30 is here. Now also, we know that we have no people with a time of up to zero seconds. So you need to plot an additional point. So we're going to do zero, zero. In this case, it's at the origin, but it might not necessarily be. We plot the lowest value, in this case zero, with a cumulative frequency of zero. Now we can connect these up either with a curve or with straight lines. I'm just going to use straight lines. Thank you. 
and then we can answer questions about this to do with the running total. Now firstly, we want to estimate the median time. Now we've got 30 people we know, so to find the median time, we're going to use the middle person, that's the 15th. So what we do is we go across the 15th person on this axis, it's the 15th person. We go across, we would usually use a ruler, and then we go down, and we can see it's roughly a time of 12 seconds you would usually have a much clearer uh, scale in here. So the median we're estimating is 12 seconds. Then we've next got estimate the interquartile range. So the interquartile range, well, we need the upper quartile and the lower quartile, and then we're going to subtract them to get the interquartile range. And if you haven't come across quartiles before, I have a video on that which you should watch first. So the upper quartile, well, if there's 30 items, to get the upper quartile, we want to be three quarters of the way along the data. So if we do three quarters of 30, just 0.75 times 30, that gives us 22.5. So 22.5 is three quarters of 30. So we're going to go across 22.5, we go across, we hit the graph, we come down, and you need to make sure that you show your lines on this graph very clearly as you're working. So we're gonna estimate that the upper quartile was say 17, and then we're gonna subtract the lower quartile. Well, the lower quartile is a quarter of the way along the data. If we have 30 people, a quarter of that, 30 divided by four is 7.5. So we're gonna go across the 7.5th person. I'm gonna to go down and that looks like roughly eight seconds. So we think the lower quartile is eight and the interquartile range, the difference between the lower and upper quartile, so 17 minus eight is nine seconds. Now next, last few questions, estimate how many people had a time under 7.5 seconds, i.e. the number of people who had a time of up to 7.5 seconds. Now that's what a cumulative frequency graph allows us to do, to find the number of people with a value up to a particular value. That's the key phrase here, up to a particular value. Right, so what we do this time, instead of going across the cumulative frequency axis, we're going to go across the time axis. So we want a time of 7.5, so it's going to be here, and we go up, it's actually going to be quite similar to the lower quartile. So 7.5, go across, I'm going to estimate that that's roughly uh, six people. So the answer to E is six. Six people had a time of up to 7.5 seconds. And then this last question, I've, I've just changed the value. Estimate how many people had a time of over 14 seconds. Now we can many people had a time of up to 14 seconds. So what we do is we go at the 14 second mark. We go up to our line graph and then we go across And it looks like 19 people had a time of up to 14 seconds. Now, if 19 people had a time of up to 14 seconds, then how many people had a time of over 14 seconds? Well, we had 30 people, so we just do 30 minus the number of people who had a time of up to 14 seconds, which was 19, and that gives us roughly 11 people.